Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Punk Rock Review, home of a bunch of opinionated crap you don't care about, also the home of the feedback you provide that we don't care about, keeps us on an even playing field, and we like that. Real quick shout out to our sponsor, absolutely no one, feel bad and give us money. Anyhow, moving straight into it today, today we're going to be talking about a product that we've talked about before, but we might not have talked about this flavor before, but actually we might have, we're just too lazy to go back and look, it doesn't matter, who cares? We of course today are talking about great value, that's right, we're not talking about the official Pop-Tart or anything like that, we're talking about great values, toaster pastries, the Pop-Tart knockoff that, uh, you know, they've brought to the market, uh, you know, in order to compete with the likes of uh, the, the more expensive brands and such that have been brought brought to the market. That's right. Inflation, inflation, inflation. Thanks a lot, people in charge of inflation. Uh, so great value, man. What can be said about these guys? Well, man, the toaster pastries that they bring to the market really are, after you get used to them, just as good, if not better, than any of the, uh, you know, kind of official name brand products that are on the market. That's right. Are there differences? Absolutely. If you eat enough of them, is there, a, you know, an inherent difference and in such in them? No, you force yourself to choke it down and it really doesn't matter what they bring to the table. Uh, or in this case, in their toaster pastry form. Uh, great value, though. We do appreciate the fact that you brought not only this frosted cherry flavor, but additionally, a bunch of other flavors to the market, man, for when you're, uh, you know, looking for a little more bang for your buck uh, to be consumed by your mouthpiece hole. Uh, and, you know, inherently it's a little toaster pastry man uh you know they they aren't the best out there they aren't the worst out there uh you know but great value way to set the bar uh as far as product wise to whatever you set it at because we do appreciate you bringing these products to the table uh so get them don't get them try them don't try them we don't care uh do whatever you feel like they come in a variety of flavors we've probably talked about other flavors and or we've talked about this flavor before we're just yeah too lazy to go back and look it doesn't matter who cares Free content, who gives a shit? Anyhow, great value, toaster pastries, uh, frosted cherry, what can be said about you? Uh, you get a, a good old-fashioned uh, BG, because they're pretty good uh, once you get used to them. Uh, no, nah, there's way worse out there. Uh, but, you know, you, if you eat them side by side by, like, uh, Kellogg's, what they bring to the table, it's a whole different ball game. But, you know, yeah, great value, man. Uh, thanks for your product. Uh, what an awesome-ass commercial that we did for you in kind of persuading ones of viewers. Hi, Mom. Uh, to get your product. Hey, Mom, we're out of Frosted Cherry Pop-Tart things. Uh, get some more when you go to the store. Uh, there you go. See, great value. You should give us like $13,000 for this awesome ass commercial that we did for you. Uh, everyone else, give us money. Feel bad. Give us money. Have a good one. You probably didn't. We'll catch you next time. Probably won't.